Hello, welcome back to Intel Media, here you will find everything you need to know about new movies and series. Don't forget to subscribe and push that notification bell so you don't miss any of our daily videos. For those not rushing to see The Little Mermaid or headed to the beach, there's another option for Memorial Day. You can go to the movie theater to watch Robert De Niro's new film about my father, one of the 2023 movies. The comedy sees the two-time Oscar winner play a headstrong Italian-American father whose commitment to tradition clashes with his son's efforts to make a good impression on his fiancé's parents. So what else can you look forward to with About My Father? About My Father hits movie theaters in the US and the UK on Friday, May 26. While De Niro is largely celebrated for his dramatic roles, every now and then he steps in more comedic projects and impresses moviegoers. Judging from trailer, it looks like De Niro is geared to once again impress would-be viewers. The hottest comic in America, Sebastian Maniscalco joins forces with legendary Italian-American and two-time Oscar winner, Robert De Niro Best Actor, Raging Bull, 1980 in the new comedy About My Father. The film centers around Sebastian Maniscalco, who is encouraged by his fiancée Leslie Bibb to bring his immigrant, hairdresser father, Salvo De Niro to a weekend get-together with her super-rich and exceedingly eccentric family Kim Cattrall, Anders Holm, Brett Dyer, David Rash. The weekend develops into what can only be described as a culture clash, leaving Sebastian and Salvo to discover that the great thing about family is everything about family. Leading the cast as stand-up comedian turned actor Sebastian Maniscalco. This is gearing up to be a big year for Maniscalco as he also stars in the Super Mario Brothers. Movie and Spinning Gold. He's previously had roles in Green Book, Somewhere in Queens and The Irishman. Maniscalco stars in About My Father alongside his Irishman co-star Robert De Niro. De Niro is a two-time Oscar winner who has been seen in classic films such as The Godfather Part II, Goodfellas, Casino and Taxi Driver. In terms of his comedic efforts, he's been featured in the Meet the Parents franchise, The Intern, Dirty Grandpa and more. Joining the Maniscalco and De Niro are Leslie Bibb, Jupiter's Legacy, is a model and actress from the United States. Bibb made his television debut in 1996, with minor roles in a few series, and his film debut in 1997, with a small role in private parts. Her first recurring role on television was in The Big Easy. She won a Teen Choice Award for Television Choice Actress for her role on the WB Network dramedy series Popular. Anders Holm, Inventing Anna, is a very famous actor, comedian, writer, and producer from the United States of America. Anders Holm is one of the prominent stars and creator of the show named Comedy Central. Fans have also loved his works in different projects like, Workaholics, A Happening of Monumental Proportions, etc. David Rash, Succession, is an American theater, film and television actor who is best known for his portrayal of the title character in the 1980s satirical police sitcom Sledgehammer. Since then he has often played characters in positions of authority, in both serious and comical turns. In television he is known for his performances in L.A. Law, Monk, The West Wing, Veep, and Succession. Brett Dyer, Jane the Virgin, is a Canadian actor. He is best known for his role as Michael Cordero Jr. on Jane the Virgin. He is also known for his recurring roles on the Canadian TV shows Bomb Girls and the L.A. Complex, and most recently for his main role as C.B. on the ABC sitcom Schooled. Kim Cattrall, How I Met Your Father, is a British and Canadian actress. She is known for her role as Samantha Jones on HBO's Sex and the City 1998-2004, for which she received five Emmy Award nominations and four Golden Globe Award nominations, winning the 2002 Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actress. She reprised the role in the film Sex and the City 2008 and Sex and the City 2 2010. Laura Teruso directed the film. This will be Teruso's most notable project, but she's previously directed work It, Good Girls Get High and an episode of the Apple TV Plus series Dickinson.